In the cold, dark depths of the ocean, a love story unfolds that is as brutal as it is fascinating. A reproductive strategy so alien that it challenges everything we understand about life, love, and sacrifice. The octopus mating ritual is a final, magnificent act of evolutionary design that transforms reproduction into a haunting dance of biological imperative. For male octopuses, mating is quite literally a one-time performance. A specialized arm called a hectocotylus packed with sperm detaches itself and swims independently to fertilize the female's eggs. This arm, essentially in a living reproductive missile, represents an evolutionary strategy so bizarre that it seems pulled from the pages of science fiction. But the true horror and wonder of octopus reproduction lies in what happens next. After mating, both partners are destined for certain death. The male enters a state of programmed decline called senescence, his body rapidly deteriorating through a cascade of hormonal changes. Simultaneously, the female enters a near-mythical maternal phase. She will carefully tend to her eggs, meticulously cleaning and protecting them, while simultaneously starving herself. Her body becomes a living fortress, sacrificing everything to ensure the next generation's survival. She will not eat, will not move, will not leave her eggs, guarding them with a ferocity that will ultimately consume her entire being. By the time her eggs hatch, she will be dead, her body a spent vessel of pure maternal devotion. This is not just reproduction, it's a biological poetry of ultimate sacrifice, where individual life is rendered meaningless in the face of genetic continuation. In the octopus world, survival is not about the individual, but about the extraordinary fleeting moment of genetic transmission.